let's make this easy no bake chocolate cheesecake it's very delicious and it's very easy to make and all you need is a handful of ingredients and 15 minutes of your time so let's get into it first you're going to start off by crushing some oreos until they turn into a fine powder now you can use your processor like i'm doing here or you can just do this by hand, one way or another, it doesn't really matter. I used about two sleeves, but for the exact measurements and ingredients, please refer to the description box below. Then I added some melted butter and I mixed it about until all of the crushed Oreos were covered in the butter and I used the back of my spoon to flatten it and smoothen it out until I created what looked like a cheesecake crust. When that was done, I put my crust in the fridge so it can set while I prepared the cheese mixture. This step is important, you have to put it in the fridge, otherwise it will not set. When you add the cheese mixture onto it, it's just going to be a mess. So make sure that you do not skip this step. Now on to making the cheese mixture. For that I used about 500 grams of cream cheese that has been softened at room temperature. I just gave it a quick whisk just to get it started. And then to that I added about 120 milliliters, which is three quarters of a cup of heavy cream. And again, I whisked it all together nicely. I then added some powdered sugar, three quarters of a cup of powdered sugar. Again, I whisked it all together to make sure that everything gets really well combined. You also may need to scrape the sides of your bowl to make sure that everything gets combined really well. Then I added one cup of melted semi-sweet chocolate and I also whisked that in really well until everything was very well combined. You can melt your chocolate in the microwave but make sure to keep mixing it every 10 seconds or so just to make sure that it doesn't burn or in a double boiler like I have done here. Then you're going to take the crust out of the fridge and you're going to pour the mixture on top of that and you're going to smooth it evenly, make sure that it's even and then comes the difficult part you're going to refrigerate this for at least 12 hours or overnight overnight would be better of course just to make sure that it sets nicely and it holds its shape and here it is this is the end result of the cheesecake as you can see it, it held its shape really nicely i let mine refrigerate overnight and it is just so delicious it's very creamy silky smooth and it's so easy to make i garnished mine with some shaved chocolate but you can garnish it with ganache as well or nothing at all it's amazing either way thank you very much for watching i hope that you like this recipe and i hope that you give it a try soon if you like this video please give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more easy and delicious recipes